we lived in a small villa on the backyard there was the factory and overlooking with a terrace on which we played also tennis uh, but overlooking the Alps and we, it was a beautiful situation. My grandparent, my grandfather, he, he loved uh, to teach us to look around, to look at beautiful, and all our homes had nice view, views. That's why when we had to decide to build our factory, my love of pattern comes from that factory that was my grandparents' factory. The very first space dye sweater I did in 1969, I think, 68, 69, it was taking thick yarn used to make fringes, dyed half in black and half in white. I have a passion besides color for black and white. And uh, so with that, I, I went to there, to my family's archive, and I said, can I go? They had, of every color, they had hanks, maybe uh, five pounds, 10 pounds of, uh, and so I, I, I asked, do, do you mind if I take a couple of hanks and I try to, to knit? Of course, I was allowed. And, uh, and that started to the use of space dyes in our fabrics very, very early, in, uh, at the end of the 60s. Luxury is uh, to have time for enjoying uh, life, which is also work, but uh, is the quality of life and uh, which uh, we were very fortunate uh, to have decided to, to, to build the factory in such a beautiful place. My husband became a gardener. We have a huge garden because now it's more than 40 years old, the, the garden. For us, uh, which we have uh, uh, been among uh, workers. Also now we have 250 working into the factory, which is... Uh, uh, but the factory now it's more or less just we, we, we sample things and then the production is done outside because... But the, the, uh, to see things coming from a yarn and then getting the fabrics made and then getting the shapes it's quite an interesting process and you can see how people enjoy also because we teach them to love this quality of life if uh, you can do a, a work which is also your hobby that's you know it, it, it's very very helpful you don't you're never tired <laughs>